Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago I did a video where I tried to get water to boil using tea light candles. I had made a small uh, standoff X framed pot stand to hold the pot off of the candles. Anyway, it burned for quite a while and I never got it to a complete boil. It got almost up to it, but just couldn't get it to kick over the top. Ever since then, I've got a couple of comments from people. One from, I hope I say this right, Kaka Sabatosi, where Kaka commented that if you really wanted water to boil, I would try perhaps a jet boil setup or some additional lid insulation. Might work. Uh, yeah, if I really wanted water to boil, I would use my Trangia or a fancy feast stove or something. This was just kind of to see, and people asked about this, but just to kind of see if you could get water to boil in an emergency situation using tea lights. So, yes, if I really wanted it, I would use something else. I wouldn't depend on this. Christiana Vergana commented, you forgot that the aluminum support will absorb some of the heat away, acting like a heat sink from the pan. She, what she's saying is true. With this being between the candles like so, some of the heat is getting sucked into this, but the pot sits on top of it. So I'm hoping that that heat that's sucked into the pot stand where it touches the pot will get absorbed. Now it's a little bit different if you're talking about a... Uh, when you have a windscreen on the outside of something, this will act like a heat sink and suck the heat away from your burner and then out to the open air. Excuse me. So sometimes this will be a problem. In this case, when you're using a, a windscreen like this, it's because the wind coming up will blow away more of your heat than this will absorb. Now in here, because the only wind I have in here is my talking, I don't usually use a windscreen on a test. That way we can see the pretty flames and everything else. But in today's test that I'm going to do, I will put a short pot stand on there, or windscreen on there, to hopefully keep the heat in, like so. It'll keep the heat in and force it up the side of the pot. I could make a taller one, but... I just want to see what this will do. One of the uh, first comments that I got about that tea light setup was from Dirk Stabens, where Dirk said, I'm not really suggesting you do tests. Yeah, right? Because I'm not sure if this would ever be a practical cooking system. No, it's not a practical cooking system, and it's emergency type. However, I wonder if tea lights would work in a caldera cone. I think it might be more effective than the standard windscreen. Another option comes to mind if for some reason you really wanted to make the tea lights work would be to use something like carbon felt and make an insulating cover over the pot lid. Now what Dirk is saying is true. It goes back to what Kaka said that this isn't uh, a setup that I would use to always boil water. This is an emergency type thing. But the caldera cone, I did a, a review on that a long time ago. It's a pot stand type thing. that It's a cone shape that it's wide at the bottom and then the top comes right up to the edge of a pot. And it has holes in it to let the heat come up and out. So that might be more effective. <clears throat> if there's interest, I can dig out my caldera pot stand and we could try it from there. The other thing Dirk said was to put a carbon felt lid on like that because this lid on here does act to um, pull the heat away from the water so I cut a little circle of carbon felt and we'll try that on here uh, just as a note Mato Nupai also suggested using a windscreen and he said this setup might be good for dry baking so that sounds like maybe something that I'll do more on another video I think this might be a viable setup for dry baking so let me get some water prepped here. Oh, disregard the burning candle in the back. That's for a previous test that I have running. You haven't seen that video yet, but uh, hopefully you will. Anyway, let me go get some water prepped, and I'll be right back for a test. 
Okay, so I've got two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. I've got my candles lit. Put the windscreen on. Again, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. I have a carbon felt lid on the top of the pot. Another thing I guess I could have done was put a small circle of carbon felt around there. But I'm just going to see what happens with this. Now I won't be able to show you the pretty flames underneath at the interval, so we'll just have to take it from there. So let's see how long it takes this to hopefully get water to a boil. Okay, here we are at 1 hour, 10 minutes, 70 minutes. This is the same time that it, the last test ran. And it only got up to a 211 degrees. Now I hear a couple of bu bubbles pop in there, but no rolling boil. Uh, at 60 minutes it got to 210. And then for the next 10 minutes it just didn't, didn't go over. This is the same result as what I got, with, like I said, with the last test. 70 minutes, that one got to 211 also. I guess these four candles just aren't uh, hot enough. Now one thing I did have to change here. I maybe lost a minute on this because there weren't enough holes and it was putting out the candles on the other side. The one side of this windscreen had holes on it and this one didn't. I like to do that because then I can aim the windscreens into the wind or away from the wind, whatever I need to do. But not enough holes in the bottom to let the air in, so it was putting the candles out. So I had to punch a bunch of holes real quick. See, now I've got hot water here, so in all this time, this is probably safe water to drink as far as bacteria and stuff goes, but, you know, not chemically. It doesn't have to come to a boil necessarily, but I think that was a high enough temperature to uh, get safe drinking water. Let me just dump this out. See what the bottom looks like. Okay, bottom's clean. So we're not getting a soot uh, buildup or anything on this. It's just that these aren't enough. The four candles just don't get it. Now I have had it suggested to me that instead of using the cross piece, I use a round pot stand and put all of the uh, candles inside that. I think I may try that. But I'll make it a round pot stand big enough that I can fit the five candles in. Because five candles before, I got the water to a boil. But four candles just doesn't seem to get it. So I hope that helps those that asked for this. I guess the, uh, ow, 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 ow. the carbon felt lid on the prop top probably did help some. But still, the uh, candles just aren't hot enough. So I, thank, I hope this helped those that asked for it. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.